Hi. Why did I just... <laughs> so... Sniffing. So, um, Fun stuff is fun. Stuff is fun. So, um, we have one thirty six plus nine is one forty five. We have 88 plus 7 is 95. Darn it. I'm back down to 60%. Already. You've got to be kidding me. No. No. Let's see. So, the Steelers lost to the Cardinals and the pa Patriots? Wait, who did they lose to? It was two really bad teams. And then they won beat the Bengals, so how does that make any sense? Um... The Falcons lost to the Panthers, and then they beat the Colts, so that makes absolutely no sense. Yep, that's how I'm, that's how I'm reacting to every single one. I'm just saying, well, they lost this bad team, so how could this happen? So, I thought that both of those teams would end their losing and winning streaks, but they didn't. So, yep. That one was kind of a hard one to predict. And then, how come the Patriots, with only three wins, beat the Broncos? Okay. And then, really, the Chiefs lost to the Raiders. How? And then, that one was kind of a tough toss-up again. Uh, anyways, still, that was funny. That was such high quality commentary. Great. That was funny. So, life is fun. Life is very fun.
Wow. Ah, where am I? That was funny. That was funny. That was funny. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I'm going with the Falcons because apparently I just hate I just hate my own team that much. Um, Dolphins had a really impressive win over the Cowboys, but I don't know if it's that impressive because like like I was saying last week, it's like oh, two teams that can't beat good teams are playing each other. Or two really good teams that can't beat other good teams are playing each other. So just because one of them wins, it doesn't mean that it really means anything. It just means that one of them had to win. But again, the Ravens are better. I mean, the Ravens just blew up the 49ers. Like, come on. The Ravens seem like they're the best team in the league at this point. So um, Buccaneers are on kind of a good streak. That's pretty easy. And then, yeah, I know the Patriots just won. What the heck was that? Okay. Um. Oh man, we're getting a lot of easy ones here. I'm really glad the Jaguars are playing the worst team in the league. <laughs> Although I don't know if they're the worst team anymore because they just almost they won. They beat the Falcons and they almost beat the Packers. But still, my Jaguars you can't blow this one. You, you've, you're on a horrible losing streak. You cannot lose this game. To the pan. Okay. And I know the Colts lost last week, but. Uh, let's just ignore that. <laughs> and there is one last week, too. But like, Here's the last two wins for the Raiders. Against the Chargers with, with Easton Stick. And against the Chiefs. Okay, so that's kind of a good win. But if you look at what happened... It was two defensive touchdowns, and the Raiders' offense did absolutely nothing the entire day. It was just the, it was just the two defensive touchdowns that won the game, and the Chiefs just shooting themselves in the foot or something. That was funny. What a fun time. Okay, Rams. Okay, 49ers, do not, do not continue. That last game was that last game was horrible. But they're still the 49ers, and those are still the 40 the commanders. That was fun. Good commentary, dude. Just naming the teams and then saying, yep, that's that. The, this is the result going to be the result because the, those are the 49ers, and those are the commanders. That is that is my commentary. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, this one is like what? I have no idea. Before last week, I would have said the Seahawks, but then the Steelers won. So, like... Gosh dang it, why is one recap change the entire thing? Oh, that's kind of tough too because Chiefs keep having bad games like last week and 
what was the game game before that that they lost? Uh, or they they like beat the Patriots easily, and then there was a game before that where I think they lost. I can't remember what it was. Um, yeah, the Broncos haven't been doing so well lately, but the Chargers are the Chargers with Easton Stick at quarterback, so pretty easy. And then we have that. That's gonna be interesting. Okay. Oh, my All right, we have some tough games here. I don't know if they're still down. That was funny. Okay. So, what are we going to do here? And this game right here is actually today. It is, uh... I, my mouse at scroll wheel is very good, as you can tell. So, Lions Cowboys, that's going to be interesting. So... Maybe the Lions can prove that they're actually a legit team. I mean, even if like if both of those teams are kind of like it's kind of similar to last week how the like, Cowboys and Dolphins play each other. It's like two teams that are really good at at beating bad teams and they have a good record, but then then whenever they play a good team, they don't do so well. And last week the Cowboys just barely beat Nope, the Cowboys barely lost the Dolphins. And then the Lions, well, the Lions blew out the Broncos, and then they blew out another team. Which team was it? Right? They, I don't know, they beat two, like, mid-teams. Like, they blew out some mid-teams. So they seem like they're legit, but I don't know. Like, the Vikings, I mean, are the Vikings really that good of a team? They blew out the Broncos. People are saying, oh, that's a statement win. Is it, though? I mean, are the Broncos that good? They had a nice winning streak there for a little bit, but now they're not doing so good. They, they lost to the Patriots. So, uh, Lions, kind of just a weird team. Don't really know what to do with them. They, they're good at beating up mid-teams and bad teams, but they haven't done so well against a good team yet, have they? The best team they really beat was, like, the Chiefs. And even then, it's like the Chiefs wide receivers basically handed them the game. I don't think they've had a win against a good team this whole year. Which is really weird. Like, you could say it's the Broncos or the Vikings, but like, they're not that good. The Cowboys, on the other hand, also haven't had a win against a good team, except they beat the Eagles. That's like their most convincing win. So. Um, now they also beat the Seahawks. Pretty good team there in the Seahawks. Not the best team. They pretty convincingly beat the Rams. That was like a million years ago. I was afraid I, I just looked at a game that was out in the preseason, but no. Let's go with their most recent games. They got blown out by the Bills. Oops. Then they lost to the Dolphins. Wow, they've lost two straight. They started 10-3, and three, and now they're 10-5. and five. That's actually... I didn't even notice that. Wow. And they blew out a bunch of bad teams. Blow that. Got blown out by the 49ers. And they also lost the Cardinals with two, or week three. But anyways, that was a while ago. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. Again, both of these teams, it, like, whoever wins it, it's going to be like, oh my gosh, they finally beat a good team. Finally. The best team for, that the Cowboys beat was the Eagles. The best team the Lions beat was, like, what, the Chiefs? The Broncos? Like, what? Um, or the, wait, did the Lions beat the Seahawks? No, they lost to the Seahawks. Because my entire analysis of the teams is based on how good the teams they beat are. That's a very good way to do this. I do not want to do this again next year. I am terrible at this. This is... I'm not even watching games. It's not actually meaningful. Uh, 
on it. I just love getting stuck on all these games. Just so fun. So fun. Should I break the seal? I don't even know what to do with the Steelers anymore. They're just... Complete randomness. Like, which terrible teams did they lose to before? Like, let me look again. The Cardinals and the Patriots. Just why, dude? You, you somehow... And they also got blown out by the Colts. I mean, this stretch of three games is so bad. And then they go and do this? Maybe you could make the excuse that it's against Jake Browning. And, but the Seahawks haven't been all that convincing. Although they did beat the Eagles. Wait. They beat the Eagles, right? With Drew Locke. Yeah, they beat the Eagles. <laughs> the last two games, they, they won by the exact same score. That's interesting. Um, oh my gosh, what a rough stretch here. 49ers, Cowboys, 49ers. Oh, that's not fun for them. Hmm. Is the Steelers defense still, like, good or something? I don't know. Should I just not trust the Steelers? I don't trust either of those teams. I just don't. Man. Chiefs, Bengals. Jeez, I don't know. I don't know, man. Ah, I'm just going with the Chiefs. Whatever, man. Really? That's what I did? Just default to the Chiefs. If you have no idea, just default to the Chiefs because they're the Chiefs. Yes, I I love how that's my entire commentary in this video. Is I picked this team because they're this team. And I am picked this team because they beat this team, this team, and this team. This is horrible. Why do I even make this? Actually, the only reason I make these videos, is this type of video right here, is because otherwise I... It's like helps me to be motivated to make the videos because honestly, I don't even feel like making. I don't even feel like doing this. I got sick of it like halfway through the season. I was like, man, do I really have to predict every game every single week? <laughs> Packers are. They were like on the upswing, and then they. Now they're kind of back. To mediocre and then the Vikings are like what's going on with them they just have quarterback problems maybe I should just vote for the Packers just because at least they don't have quarterback problems like the uh... <laughs> I just did I just say vote yes I'm gonna vote for this team to win <laughs> that's how it works <laughs> oh, I don't know though cuz like the Packers barely beat the worst team in the league last week. Am I putting less thought into it this week than I actually do? Cowboys. I like the Cowboys. I, I, I'm putting less thought into it. Um... It's always interesting to see what the last game for me to pick is. It's always interesting. It's like, those are the games that are like, that are, that are like the most interesting games to, to watch. Or maybe they're, they, they don't, just because I can't predict them doesn't mean that they're, 
they're always going to be a close game. It is so hilarious with the Steelers. How whether they're playing Mitch Trubisky, Kenny Pickett, or Mason Rudolph, it seems like they're basically the same team. It doesn't even matter who their quarterback is. They're all just like around the same level. Why am I doing a cube? Why am I solving a cube instead of doing a video? Because I don't know who to pick for this last game. I'm tempted to pick the Steelers, but they but then I think about how they lost to the Cardinals and Patriots. I'm like, I can't do that. But I don't want to pick the Seahawks. But again, they did beat the Eagles. I mean could be good. I picked the Eagles to beat the Cardinals. They could have They a lot of the teams where I have no freaking clue what to do. They just play like one of the worst teams in the league, so it's yeah, it's still easy to pick the game. <laughs> Anyways, it's going to be interesting to see at the end of the year which team. I was the worst at predicting their games with. A lot of, it might just be a team that had like a massive turnaround during the season. And I just kept picking them to, to be the same, but they just went and did the opposite. Like a team that was like terrible and then went on a random winning streak out of nowhere. But anyways. Steelers are. Uh, what are they? What what is their record? Or let me just. I meant the Seahawks. I was gonna look at their record. Well, I guess it makes sense that I can't pick the winner of this game. They have the exact same record. Oh, man. Um, huh. I don't want to look at the injury report. I just don't want to. Like, if, if like, TJ Watt was, like, not in the game or something, like, that would make it easy. So maybe I should just do that. Like, injury report. Like, maybe it'll be really easy to pick the game if I see something interesting. That on the injury report. I keep clicking on different websites every single time. Also, I need to look at their injury reserve. What? They have 17 players listed on their injury report? What? Are you serious? That can't be right. You really have 17 players. Okay. Um, dude, they have Jason Peters. That guy? I, I think I know who that is. Like... Is that like the 40-year-old offensive lineman who was on the Bears 
like two years ago. Oh my god. Wait a minute. He's 41. But he's out. So, um. Okay, do I recognize any of these people? Green Esbridge, Damal Adams out. Mario Edwards out. Devon Witherspoon. Oh, Devon Witherspoon is questionable. Hmm. Jordan Brooks, Kenneth Walker, questionable. Questionable for Kenneth Walker. Nick Elor. Draymond Jones, unknown. Hmm. Jake Bobo, unknown. DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf, unknown. Why? Why do they have so many players on their injury report? This is weird. Noah Fant, unknown. Damian Lewis, Anthony Bradford. JSN. Dude. JSN. Unknown. Minka Fitzpatrick out. Isn't he like a, a good safety? Um, can he pick a question? Uh, right. Uh, let's look at the depth chart to see if there's any um, injured reserve that's like obvious. They have Mason Rudolph as their starting quarter. Oh my god. I don't recognize anybody on the reserve. And then Steve Hawk. Because I learned that you can't just look at the injury report, you have to have to look at the IR. They have some layer I don't recognize. And then a bunch of people on the defense on the injured reserve. But still, I don't recognize any of these names. So. It's not helping me any, except for the fact that they have 17 players listed on their IR. Or on their injury report. Why do they have so many players in the standard injury report? That's weird. Okay, I think this might be a little bit of an upset pick. Wait, actually, let me look. I want to see what the... Like, the spread is for this. Dealers. Seahawks. Game. Um... What are the odds for this? Where's the spread? Darn it, where is it? I mean, I could just search spread. Where's this thing? thing? They have the Seahawks as 3.5 point favorites. Hmm. That's I decided I'm going. Okay, I just feel like. Uh... 
Um, they... I, um... Okay, honest reason is... Um... I am extremely good at expressing myself, so... But, uh, let's just say I want to I look stupid, so I decided to pick the Steelers. So anyways, bye.